I do. We just, just missed getting here as they were cl crossing the road, but we've got this little one munching on a piece of grass that looks truly appetizing and moving through the long grass. And then the rest of the elephants are scattered a little bit further along, along with the zebra that have arrived back once again at the foot of the escarpment. There's some more on their way, so I'm going to sit and relax for a little bit with elephants because I haven't seen them in ages. And every time I see a baby elephant, I can't help but wonder, or even just an elephant herd in this area, I can't help but wonder if it has the little one that we saw take its very first steps. Not too far away from here, not that long ago. That baby elephant must be, hmm, two months old now? When was it? I can't remember. Must be two months old now. Now maybe that one at the back there, Manu. You see that one there? By the tree. Oh, it's, there's another big elephant in front of it. Oh dear. It could be that little one. That one looks about old enough. There you go. Can you sit there to the right of that one? There you go. In the middle of your screen now. That little one. That's a tiny, tiny baby. I don't know if I'd rec recognize Mum. Now, Chandler, you want to know... Oh, I love baby elephants. You want to know if elephants migrate out of the Mara. Migrate is possibly not the correct term, because they don't move in sort of en masse. But they do move in and out of the Mara. They can. They, they'll move from the sort of the Mara Triangle, which is where we are now, into the conservancy surrounding us. And they can move down towards Tanzania, if they so wish, just in the same way that the wildebeest and the zebra pass freely between the two countries. So they can go down to the Serengeti if the mood strikes them. Um, what we do find apparently is that at the height of the migration, the elephants tend to move up into the hills and the mountains. I will say that I did notice when there were thousands of wildebeest around here that the elephants were not completely absent, but they were definitely less around than they had been before. Or perhaps I was just distracted by the thousands of wildebeest, but I don't think so. And I think all of that noise and confusion it sort of serves to not scare them away, but push them away. Especially when you've got a little one like the one on the right there, which I know, I know we've just looked at, but it's just so cute and it's separate from the rest of the herd. That's not our newborn Ellie, or the one that we watched take its first steps, because mum doesn't have any tusks. And the one, the female that gave birth the day we were watching did have tusks. Oh, little trunk up in the air like a snorkel. So elephants don't migrate necessarily in this area, but they do move about and they're free to move about as they please. It would be fantastic to know exactly what it is that provokes their movement. Laurie, looking at this little one, you want to know if it's more dangerous for the elephants uh, during the migration. No, I don't think so. Oh, it's tinier than the zebra, you know. I don't think it is. In fact, I think it might even be safer. There's not much that's a massive threat to an elephant out here. The lions in this area generally don't hunt elephant, and they're the only thing that's large enough to. The hyenas could potentially go for tiny, tiny baby elephants, but again, that requires messing with mum, who obviously has quite a temper and is very, very protective. So I don't think that there's any great danger to the elephants all year round, and I don't think that the migration changes that. The only thing I did consider in terms of the migration, because we had that young male elephant that was separate from the rest of his herd for a couple of days, and I wondered if perhaps in the confusion, if occasionally babies don't get lost and confused, especially slightly older youngsters that are not always essentially tied at the hip to their mothers. I don't know. It's just a thought. I, don't, I, I have nothing to back that up. Just a supposition. It might be that elephants are sophisticated enough to stay together even in the midst of a stampede in the dark. Such a peaceful sight. Come on, little one. Everyone's leaving without you. Oh, hello to Elena. A second sunset safari in a row, Elena. She's 14 years old and one of our regular viewers. Elena, you want to know if the elephants in the Mara eat differently to the ones in the Sabi sand? I would say that their diet is much more grass-based. 
I have seen them feeding off the seeds and off the branches of some of the torchwoods, but I would say that the vast majority of their diet is grass, especially at this time of year when the grasses are still plentiful. I would say that makes sense. Perhaps they, and I mean, you can see it from the ecosystem that we're in. It's just so much more open. The grasses are of exceptionally good quality in terms of their nutrient value. But I mean, otherwise, all of the feeding process remains the same. They still use their trunks in the normal way. Tony, speaking of lions and hunting elephants, how many lions would it take to take on a full-grown Ellie? Even the lions that do specialize in hunting elephants tend to go for the sort of prepubescent bulls or the, the, the bulls around about 13 to 15 that are separate from the rest of the herd. Just because taking on a full-grown Ellie is... It, that is a really dangerous thing for an, a lion to attempt. An elephant is exceptionally strong. I, if I had to guess and say, could a, a pride of 30 take on an elephant? Yes, probably, with males involved. Maybe it would be even less. Maybe it would be 20. But you generally don't see lions taking on adult elephants. And it would be a very, very long struggle. And I, I've, never, I've never seen it. And I'm not sure that I would want to. I would, because it's part of the learning experience, and I would want to experience it once, but I think I would find it very difficult, because if a buffalo bull takes a while for lions to kill, imagine what an ele elephant killer is like. I don't know whether any of you out there have ever actually seen the lions kill an elephant, but it must be quite an experience. Let's move off the topic of elephants being killed by lions and go back to Byron, because apparently it's quite an elephant-themed day.